we're going to have a lot of work to do. I don't want anybody to feel that somehow this is all going to get cleaned up overnight. Breakfast every morning, the dinner every day. We had about, you know, 14 minutes that we were able to get inside the shelter. This has never happened. I've lived here 15 years. The most important thing is for families to get back together They again. tell you to leave and evacuate. Leave. Don't wait till last minute. This area is on a fault line. At some point, we're going to have a massive earthquake. The roads are going to be shut down. We're going to have situations similar to Sandy and Katrina, where the communications lines are shut down, and you're just going from your place of work to your home. If you don't practice, then you're going to fail when it comes to the real test. Crystal and Andy and I sat down, and we came up with what we thought would be a realistic scenario, and that is an urban environment where you have a situation where you cannot use your vehicle to get home. A get home bag uh, is going to be something small. Uh, it just needs to get you home. I need to go to my vehicle and get my spare pair of clothes. We want to make sure that we have extra clothes with us, either in a bag that we carry to work with us all the time, or in our car, especially ladies if you have to wear these guys. Everyone kind of thinks these things out, you know, well, what if this happened, what would I do, where would I go, what would I get? You're going to need enough food to get you home and enough water to get you home. The intent is, is that you'll be able to scavenge along the way, use what you can find. People that don't take care of their lawns, Paul just picked up some dandelion leaves. You want to go so. for the young shoots, not these bigger ones. So if I need something, there's definitely greens in here to work with. Not bad, those are good. So as I've been walking, coming through here, I'm looking for spigots, I'm looking for things that'll get me water. I look across the street and I see a garden hose. Um, so what I wanna do, send Andy over to check it out and see if he can get some water. And uh, Crystal and I will provide cover for him while he goes. So we've all been able to drink and replenish. And uh, just kinda keeping an eye out for food now. Went by a uh, nice looking bakery that got nice food in there and good things like that. This stuff has all been thrown away recently. Nobody's even touched that. So take what you can find. If you, if you have something available to you, you eat it then because you don't know what you're gonna have later. These are older rose hips. Um, they're dried out, but they're still really good. They're really high in vitamin C. It's actually really good. So what I'd wanna do is I'd wanna gather all of these dried um, rose hips to eat those throughout the night. Also running the Kershaw Cryo using it off of their uh, neck holder. Uh, so far I've been pretty impressed with this blade. So when you are planning your routes, make sure there are areas that you're safe with, you know with, and areas that you can get away from if they are dangerous. I usually carry every day, so um, these would be on me, and since we're going through the city, I don't want to draw attention to myself. We put the pistol away. If I have to get into any kind of altercation, I'm going to use this small baton. I picked this up from Blade HQ for about $12. Whips out quickly. Um, you're probably about 14 inches uh, off of this baton. Um, it's just a good self-defense tool. If you don't want to like really harm someone, you just want to injure them enough to get away. But I also used a, a schmog, um, and if you know how to use it, things like this can work really, really well to defend yourself. This, a belt, uh, anything like that. Probably got maybe another 45 minutes of daylight left, so I want to start working on constructing just a quick temporary shelter for the night. So we'll do is kind of cut this down a little bit. If it gets too big, you're gonna get uh, too much of your body heat escaping. Okay, so now what I wanna do is kinda seal up the end of this a little bit. I've got these uh, extra pieces that were actually in the box that I was using. I'm gonna try and try and cut these up a little bit. See if I can make some wedges to hold it in. Doesn't have to be a whole lot. I just want this to uh, stay in place. So it's 
don't know if you saw that, but we're cutting through both sides here. So, Cryo's doing a good job holding its edge. Fold one down, one up. And then insert it through. Nice and snug. Fold open the ends there, and then that'll keep it from opening up on me in the middle of the night. And I'll do the same on this side. Yeah, that's, oh, that's good. In here now, I can already feel my body heat generating warmth, so I think tonight's going to be more comfortable than I thought it was going to be initially.